Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah students learners and viewers welcome to Fahad's tutorial once again and today in this video I am show you that uh, creative solutions from chapter 5 pressure and state of matter those who already started this chapter you know that there are very important principles like uh, and laws in this chapter has been discussed is Pascal's law and Archimedes law and you must know about Beyoncé so this tutorial will explain that how we can solve this type of creative questions if it is common in your question paper so uh, this is the questions from all board 2018 so a rectangular object with a mass of 200 gram the first data is given the mass of the object and this is rectangular has an area is 24 centimeter square you know that we have to convert this into meter square in order to do with his things with mk system and this is three centimeter the weight of the object in kerosene is 1.4 newton so the weight of this object is not in in air in object of object in kerosene is 1.4 newton so it is to be mentioned that the row the the density of kerosene is 800 kilogram per meter cube so these data is given so as it is rectangular you know that it has an area and also it has a volume so the area is given which is 24 centimeters square. So now you think the first question is what is buoyancy? We know buoyancy that a body is if a body partially or completely submerged in a liquid or gas at rest is acted upon by an upward force by the liquid or gas. This is called buoyancy. And the second question, what is easier? I mean, why it is easier to swim in the sea? than in the river this is nothing but the density the density of sea water is more than river water as a result the buoyancy force of sea water is more than the river water and that is why it is easier to swim in the sea than in the river because of this buoyancy force so i hope you can answer these two questions easily nothing about sea questions how much is the density of the element of the object i mean we know that the density is about rho equal m by b so you know that we need to find the mass which is already given and v is the volume so we need to find the volume of the object so the mass is given 200 gram so which is 0 0.2 kilogram we just divided by 1000 and you see that area is 24 centimeter square so we know that to convert centimeter square to meter square we need to do it by 10 to the power minus 4 meter square and you see the height is given h is 3 centimeter so if you divide by 100 we'll get 0 0.03 meter so why we just did it because we know we need to find the density okay the density it is asked so we know m now we need to find the velocity so i mean the volume the volume is area times height so the volume of the object is 24 times 10 over minus 4 into 0 0.03 so this is meter square and this is meter so things would be meter cube and if we just do it the calculation would be 7.2 times 10 to the power minus 5 meter cube so we got v that means volume and we know the mass now according to the steam we can find the density of the element of the object which is rho equal m by v so the m is 0 0.2 if we divide by 7.2 times 10 to the power minus 5 then it would be like 2777.78 kilogram per meter cube just remind it so 
we see the density of that object is 2777.78 kilogram per meter cube. So you see this is very easy but for the preliminary students I mean those who already just solve the chapter theoretically and are trying to solve the creative question which is common so this is the first uh, creative solution you can think about it so now you see how I did it V we just find it the well volume and then we got the density now the last question is about mathematically analyze if the given stem follows the Archimedes law what is Archimedes law we know that Archimedes law is about we need to think that how much weight it actually lost so find the uh, answer uh, D Think about the mass is given so now we need to find the weight of this object in air which is about mg so you know that 0 0.2 kilogram times 9.8 is actually it would be 90 or 9.8 1.96 1 1.96 newton is the weight of the object in air think about it in air now from these questions we know that the volume of the object is this and the density of the kerosene is also given hmm? so what we got we got velo we got the volume of the object we got the density of uh, the kerosene and also we know the acceleration due to gravity now if we merge submerge this substance in in the kerosene so we got the buoyancy so buoyancy force acting on this object completely immersed in kerosene that would be v rho g so the v is the volume of the object 7.2 times 10 to the power minus 5 times rho is 800 800 and g is 9.8 so if we just do it then it would be 0 0.56 newton so this is the force that will be a that is actually buoyancy force acting on the object completely immersed in kerosene so the weight loss so so what you can say that weight of the object in kerosene that is actually uh, it would be the lost so one point weight in kerosene that is 1.96 minus 0 0.56 newton and this is actually 1.4 newton so now you see the weight of the object in kerosene is given 1.49 newton so you also find the weight of the object in kerosene because we just find the buoyancy and we just minus we just i mean divided i mean we just release this amount of lost uh weight when it will be immersed in the kerosene so it was the weight of the object in air and we just just minus it the amount from this so we got 1.4 newton so this is actually it's actually the same which is given so according to the steam weight of object in kerosene is 1.4 newton therefore the steam follows the archimedes law so we can say that the steam follows archimedes law and this is the process we can solve this type of questions and this is very easy i hope those are watching this tutorial if you got this type of questions solve it like that and this is preliminary level questions there are more critical questions are coming towards so i hope after after solving this type of questions i will come up with a tough or something critical type of steam and the solutions technique so take care stay well stay blessed and study hard see you on the next video bye